Hey everyone, it's Amber Carnes from BodyPositiveYoga.com and I'm here today with a little updated video about Shavasana. Shavasana, as we all know, is corpse pose. It's the last pose that we take usually in a yoga class and um, traditionally it's done lying flat on the floor uh, with legs out long and arms out to the sides and Shavasana is our chance to uh, download everything that we've done in the yoga class and for our body to commit it to muscle memory. It's a chance for our nervous system to downregulate, for us to rest without sleeping, which is something that not a lot of us get um, a lot of time to do in our lives. So it's really kind of a, a precious moment in yoga class. I hope you don't skip Shavasana. <laughs> I hope you always stay for it. Um, if Shavasana is giving you trouble and it's uncomfortable for you to lie flat on the floor, either because you have a big butt, <laughs> that's in, in my case. Um, maybe you just aren't comfortable lying flat on the floor um, for whatever reason that doesn't feel good in your body. Perhaps you're pregnant and you shouldn't be lying flat um, on your back. Uh, there's lots of reasons why uh, the traditional Shavasana doesn't work for folks. So today I wanna give you several options for Shavasana to make it more comfortable so you can actually really settle the body down and rest the weight of the body into the support of the floor, or in this case, the props. So um, for the video today, I'm gonna use two blocks, a blanket, a small pillow, and two different kinds of bolsters. I'll put links to all of those uh, props where you could find them in um, the post where I share this video. But if you wanna go ahead and just watch through, Check out the different options, decide what seems comfortable or that you might want to try, and then give it a try. See how it feels in your body. There's no extra points for lying flat on the floor in Shavasana. You're not going to get a medal at the end of class, um, at least not in my class. <laughs> so um, I really try to encourage my students and I encourage you to find a pose that works for your body that's going to allow you to get the benefits of Shavasana instead of just the shape of the pose, whatever the, the original traditional way the pose is done. So let's take a look at Shavasana. All right, the first thing you're gonna need is a lot of props. <laughs> I, I really think that you need to be comfortable in Shavasana, and so usually that means a lot of propping up and assisting and making it more comfortable for your body to lie on the floor. So I have a pair of blocks, I have a blanket, and I've got a couple of bolsters. So we're gonna work with um, all of these for some different variations on Shavasana. The first thing I'm going to show you is just lying back on the floor with knees bent and soles of feet on the floor. So I've got the blanket under my head and please adjust the blanket to whatever height you need to feel like your chin is not jutting up past your forehead. So you want the chin in line with the forehead or maybe even a little lower. So just have your feet a comfortable distance away from your butt so you're not feeling too crunched up. Widen the feet to about the width of your mat and let the knees knock together. That way you don't have to hold up the legs, work to hold up the legs. And then just rest the palms facing the ceiling, the arms away from the body, like the bottom of the snow angel position. This is a perfectly fine place to be and fine to rest here for Shavasana. Um, you may want to scoop the tailbone toward the heels just to make sure your whole lower back is in contact with the floor. That's option one. Option two, you're gonna need your blocks. So I've got my head on the blanket, I've got my feet um, on the floor, knees bent. I'm gonna take the blocks and place them under my thighs and then bring legs into Baddha Konasana. So soles of the feet together, knees wide in this diamond shape with the legs. And you don't need to worry about dragging the feet really close into your groin, just let them be a comfortable distance away. And then you may need to play with the height of the blocks. So the purpose of having the blocks there is so we don't hang in the joints since we might be in Shavasana for several minutes. We want the legs to really be supported. You shouldn't feel any pressure or um, pinching in your SI joints. That's kind of the dimples in your low back. Um, so if you need to, bring the blocks up on a higher height. And some, this, is, this is much more comfortable for me. You don't get extra points for having your knees closer to the floor. We really want to be relaxed here. So this is a good place to start. Um, in Supta Baddha Konasana, which is this position, I like to rest my hands on my belly, but you can also rest them palms up just like you would in traditional Shavasana. So that's option two. Option three is to lie on the floor with a bolster under the knees. 
So I have a couple different kinds of bolsters. Some are round, some are more rectangular. I like the round one here. So all I'm gonna do is just take the bolster onto the mat, right up to my butt. Now you can put it lower if you like. I really like this because it allows more of my legs to be supported. It also allows the knees to be a bit higher, which is nicer on my low back. So all I'm gonna do is just relax into the floor, let the weight of my body settle into the floor. Legs uh, fall out to the sides, so we don't want muscular engagement in the legs. And then just bring the arms out to the sides and rest the palms facing the ceiling. So that's option three. Okay, another option altogether. What if you don't like lying on the floor or that causes you pain or maybe you're pregnant and you shouldn't lie flat on your back? I like to build a little tower. So I take one block on the highest height. I take another block long ways in front. And then I take one of these rectangular bolsters and I rest it up against the block. So you kind of have to play with where you place it, but you want it to be in a stable position. And then what you're gonna do is turn around have a seat so your butt comes right up to the edge of that bolster and then just lie back. So you can be here with um, feet on the floor and knees bent or what's really nice and luxurious is to take another bolster under the knees and then just relax. You can take a couple stacks of blankets or blocks and put them under your arms if you don't want your arms kind of resting out to the sides like this, or maybe this feels good. It kind of brings a little passive opening into the chest. You can also take your hands and you can rest them on your low belly and just breathe here. This is a really, I mean, I'm about to take a nap. <laughs> so if you really want a luxurious, nice, long Shavasana, I really recommend building this little tower. So that's option number four. One final option for a prop Shavasana would be to lay on your side. So you can just come to lie down on your side, have a blanket for underneath your head. So you may want to just rest your arm out in front of your, um, up beside your head and let that be a cradle. I like to put a little extra cushioning in there and then take a pillow or a folded blanket or something like that and bring it between the knees. That helps to keep your pelvis level. So then just kind of settle around Figure out if you want your knees up closer to your chest or further away. And then set all your weight into the support of the floor. So that's option five. Finally, if none of these options for Shavasana are comfortable for you in your body, just take your Shavasana sitting in a chair. Relax into the back of the chair. Um, let the legs just be heavy. Rest the hands on your belly and just close your eyes and breathe and rest. The purpose of Shavasana is to rest. So the position that you're in, not always that important. The important thing is that your body is able to relax and to rest so you can assimilate all the benefits of the practice and your body can download everything and downregulate your nervous system. So I hope you enjoyed those options for Shavasana today. If you have any questions or if you wanna learn more, just visit me at bodypositiveyoga.com. Thanks.